The 7400 chip is a Logic TTL chip, transistor to transistor logic, and works on 5 volts. Can handle somewhat higher voltage, but anyway. There are 4 Logic ports in it. In fact, kind of op amps um, that can be driven completely to the supply voltage when a logic signal is um, available on the input. Uh, in fact, perhaps somewhat obsolete, often CMOS chips now are used, but TTL is also very interesting. And I made a small circuit here with LEDs that are flickering. It's only a demo circuit. So don't expect too much. This is the circuit in fact. These LEDs are flickering in a certain pattern. And that's done by using um, this chip. The 7 for low shot key 00 N chip. This is a circuit by the way. In fact very simple. My camera is a Sony and is nervous constantly zooms in and out. It's important to tell at the input here you need a logic 1 and a logic 0. And that are defined voltages for TTL logic. And I think you can find much more info on the internet. So what is high in terms of voltage for TTL logic and what is low. This is by the way how it has to be. This is 0 and 5 volt. So this is the logic input signal. It's generated here by this um, bounceless switch. Working at the moment on approximately 2 Hz. And that means that the chip gets logic signals and you can hear and see them. I uh, want to demonstrate it better. And on the scope you can also see how the voltage jumps up and down between zero, approximately zero and five volts. And that signal drives the 7400 chip. So, um, only a demo circuit, not very revealing I think, but when you want to do experiments this is a very good way to get insight in logic uh, circuits and then especially TTL logic. The more modern logic is CMOS logic, but I don't have any experience with that. And I hope to publish the boundless switch later.